Hello, in this video, I'm going to show you how to connect up your PS4 controller to your Windows machine to use it on the BSNES HD emulator, which is a SNES emulator that allows you to do stuff in well, HD. So if you want to know how to just set up BSNES HD in general without any controller stuff, I've got a separate video covering that. Feel free to check that out to the link in the description. So to connect up your PS4 controller is super simple. You have one of two options, the wired option where you connect a micro USB cable into your controller. The other end goes into your PC, you're all good to go. Windows may install some drivers, but that's automatic. The next option is wireless, just an extra step or two. It does require Bluetooth, but if you're on a laptop, I'm sure you've got a laptop that has it. And if you're on a computer, you probably got it as well. If not, you can get a cheap dongle for a few quid, a few dollars. So to connect this up, really simple. Let's go to Bluetooth and this works for the newer PS4 controllers that have the LED through the touch bar as well as at the top or the older ones where the LED is just at the top for I mentioned that as well. Also, this video is not condoning piracy. It is for educational purposes only. So now we can connect either via the add Bluetooth or other device menu and click Bluetooth or we can go to devices and printers, which is the older school menu and go to add device right there. And I'll use the new menu. If you ever have issues using the new menu, like it don't connect, and I'll find that with other controllers, I have this, I switch and we, but if you do use the old one. Okay, so to put this into pairing mode, you press the share button and the PlayStation button. This is only required for wireless, not wired by the way. So you press share and PlayStation button at the same time for about five seconds and this will start flashing. Before I do that, if you have any problems and it's not connecting, the controller may need resetting. To do that is super simple. You'll notice there's a little hole at the back, at the back on the right side or behind the left side if you're looking from the front, there's a little hole. Just put a pin in there for about five seconds and you'll reset the controller. I find this helps a lot. If you get an issue that I had just now, because I actually had a failed you know, recording video where the controller kept disconnecting, I literally unplugged the Bluetooth dongle. This is for dongles, by the way. I plugged it into a different USB port, worked fine. Probably would have even worked if I plugged it re, you know, back in to the same port. Didn't actually try that, but, but there's some troubleshooting for you as well. For this little pen thing, so I've seen people use pencils, needles, you're gonna you know, mess up your controller that way, you're gonna scratch it up. What I recommend is just using a SIM card ejector tool, it's the right size, it's the right length, and it's pretty blunt compared to a pencil or a needle. So that's my recommendation. So now let's point to Perry mode, share and PlayStation. So click that. We'll click those buttons and then the LED will start flashing fast. There we go. Go to Bluetooth, wireless controller, and gone solid, that means it's connected, click done. Close that down. And if we launch up game, you set up USB game controllers, go to properties. It picks up our controller, fantastic. So now we can just launch up the emulator. I've got it over here. and just go to settings, input. And for this, we just map our controller. So select the port you wanna map, make sure the gamepad is detected. And now let's say if I double click up and I press up, there we go. So you just do it for whatever assignment you wanna do. So I could even have left as, you know, the left, you know, movement on the analog stick. You can do that, that's totally up to you. So I'm gonna stick with the D-pad. And for B, I'll put a circle, A I'll put as X, Y I'll put as triangle, and X I'll put square, L, R, select, I'll put as the share button, and start, I'll put as the option button. And you can also map turbo B, A, Y, X, L, R. You've got the touchpad that should be detected as well, so it does get detected, I'll clear it. And you've got two analog sticks with L3 and L R3 when you click them in and you've got you know these triggers as well. So that's it. That's how you you know map it, click X. Now let's launch up a game. Mm -hmm. 
Click X. That's it, we're done. I'm gonna play a bit of Super Mario World now and then I'll end the video, but we'll, the setup's all done so you can end it right now if you don't wanna watch me play. Ooh, Yoshi. Character's gone. Huh? Didn't that bug down? Mm. Okay, so that is it. Nice little end to the video. Bugging out the game. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions, feel free to join the BeastNet HD channel in the Discord group. There's a link in the description. So any questions, feel free to post there. And I'll look forward to seeing you in the next emulator video. If you have any requests, let me know. Bye bye.